Hey developers, let's take a look at our Phoenix application and add a way to edit and delete posts. Let's take a look. All right, let's take a look at our app here. So from what we saw last time, we do have a posts route that lists all our posts. And we have an add post that lists, well, allows us to add new posts as it says, of course. So now we want to add in some way to edit these posts and delete them using our Phoenix backend and Ember.js in the front end, of course. So let's go ahead and stop our app here. And let's go ahead and generate some files for us. So let's first generate a route. And what we want to do is we want to have a route for post. And then each post will have an ID afterwards. So if we want to edit the first one, it'll be post slash one. If we were going to edit the second one, it would be post slash two. So our other route that just lists all the posts is slash posts. So let's try to do that. So we're going to create a route called post. And we're going to do it the same way. We're going to create all our logic inside our controller. Um, like we said before, maybe in the future we want to move that to our route. but for now, we're just going to add it to our controller. So let's create a controller too called post. And lastly, we want to create the functionality all inside a component. So let's create a component called edit post. Great. So they're all three created. So let's start with, let's just start with the controller first. We saw with we, what we did with new when we had an add new and then we created the record and we saved it. So in post, we wanna do two things. So let's create two different actions. So we can create our action hash here. And in our action hash, we're gonna create a save. It's gonna be passed in a model and a delete which is passed in a model too. So in our save, uh, we're gonna just, in our save, we're gonna go ahead and just save the model. So to do that, we're going to just do model.save, and then we're gonna do a transition to route, and we're gonna go back to the posts route. So what model.save is, is this does a request to our Phoenix backend that we have set up. And it does an HTTP patch. So it does a patch to the uh, model, to the model that we have set up. So that'd be localhost and 4,000 posts. Now the delete, <clears throat> what we're going to do here is we're going to do a model.delete record and then we're going to save it and when you do save that automatically sends that message. Um, since it's a delete record it actually does an HTTP delete I believe and we're going to do the same thing transition to route. And we can take a look at our Phoenix server real quickly. And we can do mix Phoenix routes. <clears throat> and we can see what we saw here. So here's the patch. Um, you can see on the screen there, I think. Yeah, you can see patch. And it's going to run the update. And it's going to be passed in the ID. So it's more like slash 15, whatever it is. And then the delete also is going to run uh, an HTTP delete. And that's going to be run to posts. And then it's also going to have some kind of ID in it at the end. 
All right, so that's what we want to do here. We're going to have a model, and we're going to delete. So let's take a look at our route. So we know we have this post, so we need to have a model here. And since we're using Ember data, this is the way it works. We need, just like we did with our posts route, we did this return, this dot get store, find all posts. Well, there's a way to get individual records. So before we do that, I'll show you here. We're going to go to our router. And we have this post right here, but we're going to do something called dynamic segments. And this tells it how we expect the URL or the information coming in. So we're going to do path equals slash post and then this colon ID. And what that says is that, so we can put single quotes, is that, that says when we get a URL coming in from slash post and then a number, or that's an ID number, this ID <clears throat> that you see right here will get passed in to the model in our in our router. So routes right here. So this param right here will have that ID in it. And that's very important because we're gonna do a return this dot get store. <clears throat> and I don't remember the exact syntax, so I'm gonna look it up. I already have it here. So if you look at the Ember guides, it'll tell you how to do find record. So you can see it's this dot get store. Sometimes I forget dot find record and then the name which is post and then we need to pass in an ID so we have this param and this ID will be here so what this is saying is that whenever you reach the post route take the ID that comes from the URL that we know because we look at the router we know that it has to have an ID in the URL because you have slash post slash ID and that colon means it's part of a dynamic segment that ID gets passed into this param right here um, so you have to do param dot ID and that'll get that record and it'll send an HTTP this is all by convention because we're using Ember data so there's an HTTP patch and we're using something called JSON API to the, to the uh, server. And so now we have, so now we have the controller, we have a model, uh, we have a save and delete, which we'll be using later. <clears throat> we have an edit post, we haven't done anything with it yet. We've set up our router and we set up our route. So let's go ahead and set up how this is going to look. So in our post, we just want to show our edit post component and we want to make sure that we have our save and delete set up. So save, we're going to use save and then action and then we're going to call save <clears throat> and then delete. It's also going to be action it's going to be delete. So we're basically passing in these actions into this component, saying these actions that are coming from the controller. And then we also want to say, send in the model just because we're going to use that, the record it finds, so we can display it in there. We don't actually want to modify the model inside the component because we want to do data down actions up so we want to actually modify it inside the controller so that's good just good practice <clears throat> and it makes it more um, the component has the information in it that it just needs it's not it's easier to reuse later in the future so <clears throat> now we have our post it's going to call our component and right now our component doesn't have anything so Let's do just mix. Let's see if this works. Let's just do a hello world. And then let's see H2 here. Let's just take a look at the model and see if it has the title in it. So let's start this up. 
and let's start up the server again. Mix Phoenix server. So that's for our back end. And then for our front end, we're going to press up a few times. So we're going to start the server again. We're going to proxy it 4000. And we're going to go home. And we'll wait until it loads. Alright, so here it is. So here's our posts. Now, now one thing we forgot is we don't actually have any links to our post route. So let's do this. Let's go to our list posts and let's make the title clickable. So we're going to use our link to helper and we're going to pass in the post and link to has a way it could take a different argument so it first takes the name of the route that you want to go to and then it takes in the uh, it takes in the uh, segment the ID that you want in there to pass in it so we're gonna say post and then we have post ID here so we're saying here each model as post and we know the post has a title but we know when we define the model it has an ID so it has a post ID as well and so we're just gonna close the link to because we're having a block form save it okay so now you can see here our titles now have links to them so let's click on the first one all right perfect so you can see here it says hello world and it says test title so the title is coming through the find is going correctly you could see here it's doing the git it's doing HTTP git to do the API post 15 and so if it's just getting information it's not changing anything it's doing a git but if it's updating it's going to do a patch so let's go back to the edit component and let's see how they did new. So we kind of kind of steal some of this if we want. So let's steal some of it. So we're just going to save that. And we're going to paste it. We're going to call this edit post. And instead of having these input in the value called title, we'll do model.title because the model was passed in and model.body and then model.author and then for the action here when you press the button we want to do two buttons one for save and one for delete so we're gonna do an action and we're gonna call it it's gonna go to the save that we're passing in and we're gonna pass in the model and we'll do another button we'll call it delete and we'll pass in the model there and we'll call it delete here so let's see what it looks at okay there it is so now if we go to posts we can click in each one of them now we have our test title too this is the other body John Smith and so let's see if we change something what happens let's hit one here submit okay let's see if it worked so John Smith 1 John Smith 1 that looks good put John Smith 12 looks good yeah it looks like it's changing it which is perfect uh, same thing here we can do 12 13 all right so let's see if it deletes it so let's take test tile 2 press the delete button all right it's gone posts perfect let's try to so now we can this is a new title and you can see at the bottom what it's doing when I hit submit here it's doing the HTTP patch to API post 15 and it's getting back a good response everything's working great and then it gets it back here so it looks like that's an easy way to do the add and deletion there's one other thing you may run into that you can and I'll see if I can change what we see here if I go back to the Phoenix controller so let me see if I can change that one second okay you should see it here on the screen 
if you're not careful how it does the requests, you might need to update. Um, you see this update here, it looks it's looking for type equal posts. But if it comes over incorrectly, you might need to change that to posts, just depending how it comes over. But that's, uh, you may need to do that. <clears throat> so that's how you do add edit and delete on our app here. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if I really, if you really like this, please click the subscribe button. That really helps me. Thank you and have a great day.